My thoughts are with his family. I know many of them. As you know, Minister Regan is his daughter-in-law. Jeff, I've known for a very long time. Uh, I've met all of them at different times uh, throughout my uh, time here. Uh, his government was one uh, that actually shared the fiscal responsibility as, as, as our government does in terms of delivering balanced budgets. Uh, he was part of, uh, you know, the ombudsman was uh, coming under him. Uh, I think one thing that's often forgot about that period of time uh, is the work that was done around the energy. And you saw municipal um, uh, utilities come together under what was now the, then the Nova Scotia Power Corporation. Uh, you saw that become come together. Uh, ironically, that's how I ended up in the Valley. My father was sent down there in 1967. And we ended up in Bridgetown during that period of time when you saw a lot of the uh, uh, hydro uh, things throughout the Valley that were coming together under that, uh, which is now the precursor to Amera. All Nova Scotians will determine how they view uh, Mr. Riggins legacy. Uh, as the Premier of this province, I'm focused on the job that we shared in common, which was uh, leading a government uh, and ensuring uh, that uh, we reflectively look at uh, his contribution, as I did to former uh, Premier Buchanan's legacy. Uh, it was about uh, their public service. Uh, and uh, Mr. Riggin was elected as Premier uh, for seven to eight years, uh, served two times at the national level, uh, and his government here uh, uh, made changes, quite frankly, that continue to stand today. Uh, the utility and the evolution around energy started at that decade, as well as, I say, the Ombudsman Office, which uh, those Nova Scotians who have issues with government or the decisions of government are grateful that they have an independent, uh, independent ally to investigate those.